I'm delighted to introduce this video series featuring St. Olive's parishioners talking about the rule of life. Hopefully, you received this delightful bookmark earlier this year in the mail. A rule of life is made up of six spiritual disciplines that are set out in our Book of Common Prayer to help us lead healthy Christian lives. And they also form the backbone of our stewardship focus this year. These include attending church, praying at home, following Jesus, talking about faith, serving the church, and giving to the church. Today, we're going to talk about the first rule, and that is attending church. With me is our rector's warden, Janice Douglas. Janice, I happen to know that you are a very regular <laughs> attendee here at St. Paul's. That's true. Thanks for having me, Martha. It's great to be here. Yeah, I, I, I really, uh, I love coming to church. It's a big focus of my life and of my, my week, and that's always been a part of my life. And uh, yeah, it's, it's really special for me. Please do tell more. <laughs> How did this all begin? Well, I guess it started um, when I was little. Um, you know, I went to church just about every Sunday with my with my parents, and I really loved the music. I loved singing. I was a kid who was always singing, and uh, I, I loved the organ and I loved to learn the hymns and all the different parts of the of the service. And in fact, I really um, I didn't go to Sunday school that much. I, I went a little bit. I'm sure there were times when my parents wanted me to go uh, and learn something, but um, but I, I really preferred to be. With, with them and in the big space and just, you know, sort of taking it all in with the windows and, and you know, the feel of the pipe organ can sort of go right through mm -hmm. you. And yeah, I just, I love following the service and I loved trying to, you know, figure out the hymns and, and, and sing with everybody. That was just really meaningful to me. Well, I can certainly appreciate the pull of music and especially here in recent years at St. Olive's. Now, I'm imagining that there are other reasons too. For me, my whole week kind of builds towards Sunday. I find, you know, Monday to Saturday can kind of be a blur with work or um, with family, and I'm sure you're the same way. I'm sure many people have got so many things going on. And I kind of liken it to like, you know, you're shuffling a deck of cards on a tabletop and you've got them all spread out and mixed up. And then, um, and then you know, when you kind of bring them all together to to sort of square up the deck and make it all line up. And that's that's kind of the feeling I get on Sundays from being at church, that it just sort of realigns me and kind of sets me up for the for the week to come and makes me feel sort of, um, you know, just at, at peace and, and calm. And even though I'm busy here sometimes on Sundays, I still really value that feeling and I get a lot out of it. So that's why I come now. Now, do you ever find that there are times where you, you're have challenges getting to church sure. maybe are you tired or just or something else yeah I mean there are times but I, I do find that being at church really energizes me so if I'm tired then what I really need is that fix to to get to church and see my friends and and be part of this community and and be part of the service working with other people to sort of create this beautiful liturgy um, I do, uh, you know, if I'm not here, then I'm, it's because I'm, I'm sick or I'm, I'm visiting my parents in, in London or I'm uh, away for, for work or travel or something. So, and on those times, I'm really happy to be able to watch it, uh, watch the service on the live stream and, and comment on the YouTube channel and, and sort of, you know, make helpful comments to whoever's, <laughs> whoever's doing the live stream. But, um, um, so I like to be here in spirit, but it really is like my, you know, my preference to be sitting here for sure. Um, but yeah, I, you know, I, I, I get so energized from being here that if I, I know if I'm tired, I'll feel better when I, when I get here. So, I mean, everybody's tired, right? So, True. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I like just even being here, obviously, with nothing to do except for being part of the service. So. Yeah. Do you have any advice for others who might find that that Sunday morning service is a challenge? Yeah. I sometimes come Wednesday morning at 11.15 for uh, Holy Communion. Um, because especially if it's been a morning prayer Sunday and I really would like to have communion um, but um, and, or maybe a lot of people would prefer to come at 8 30 on Sunday because it's sort of you know you're usually done by 9 15 you have your whole day ahead mm -hmm. it's a little bit faster um, but I find that 
setting yourself a challenge and a goal of increasing the number of times you come is a really good idea because the more you come, the more familiar the routine will be and the more meaningful I find it is. Janice, thank you very much for sharing your perspective You're and welcome. your thoughts. And I hope that you will join me next month when we will be looking at the second rule, which is praying at home. In the meantime, we wish you all the best. Thank you.